Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Bad trades, couple too many and suddenly you don't have the health anymore uh, to contest. But also, I mean, this is one of the big changes that Wakong got a while ago that just makes it so obnoxious. It's like you hit one Q and you're good to Whoa, go. Whoa, that's a flash from Sylvie. Execute, he's flashing away, but they really want this seafood, and there is the crash down. First blood goes to Jiwoo. They invested a bunch of summoners, but they got their prize. Yeah. Same thing, so far so good in that regard. So he does go for a bit of a teleport back. Has a sword and a red thing, oh, and no. oh dear. Um, execute, may, oh dear, is this, did we, yeah, uh, okay. Um, that's two quick ones here for Jiwoo. And we've seen two sides of Execute, ladies and gentlemen. We've seen the one that pops off, makes plays and everything, but a little bit that was uh, tense. afraid of the zoom in. That's lane honest. losing the, the mental damage. That can oh, 100%. Happen. That's a flash. Dundon immediately going to flash as well as Clear with his ulti activated. Dundon going to do the same here. I don't know whether he wants this. As there it is. Clear oh. locks it down. Fiesta also unable to avoid the clockwork wind up finish of him. Both solo laners. From Fear X, just get them off the Oriana, but close and closer. Just this feels like a bit of an overstep with how deep you're putting the ward, considering you don't have that side rush clear. And you can just see the claps, the timing really nice from Peter and Sylvie coming to together to punish. Yeah, There's dragons. Dragons are pretty solid, and it looks like Nongshim really have a ton of control. You can see on the minimap how many wards there are on this bot side river. Uh, Dundon might be in trouble. We're looking to start tanking the turret, but. He can actually do so. Heals up very nicely, and yeah, Dindon, he has Flash, he uses it, but he is still dead, and this time, Willa's gonna be able to make it out, so no casualties underneath that turret. Should Willa is now just moving towards the rest of these bubs. That might be where we see the next fighters. That's a Flash forward from Clear, uh, and Dindon is just dead. He just this is the, him. And this is the Clear that we were waiting to see. This is the guy that was carrying DRX in challenge. Chester will find Willa, could have been poked down. Yep, Sylvie comes on over to clear out the control ward there as well as the jungle is face off. And yeah, of course, Will is going in. That's a shockwave. That's a Magnus Storm. And now Empress Divide and manages to catch closer. Sylvie dives on top of him and they take down the Orianna. Will is trying to get in there though and he is going to be able to do so. And now Fiesta, he doesn't have that ult. And Willer, I think, could have just kept auto attacking. But instead, Fiesta is going to walk away and they will just leave one for one. So do you think Fiesta will survive? Well, I think you get the tower, I think you put up your own tower, and then I think you hope for the best. Well, um, Empress Vibe going to be used here as Fiesta moves ever closer to the enemy base. That flash um, was a flash of all time, and he is going to be taken down. Dundon now in trouble. Infernal Chains do work out, but the Tidal Wave is going to come in. Execute just straight up missing the bubble. It doesn't matter, though, as another kill happens towards the mid lane. Peter is just dead. Not sure how that one happened, but nice work, Hannah. And now Will is going to move towards the Drake, and I feel like this was just catastrophic. Ash as well. I haven't seen a Jax this fed in such a long time. It's crazy. And here he comes. Um, the flash from Fiesta to try and avoid the uh, Counter-Strike stun, but he's flashing towards an inhibitor turret. Uh, the acceptance of his fate might have been a necess necessity in order to hold on to that cooldown. Yeah, this is a very fed Jax. And here, Peter just... Oh. Uh, gets wind becomes lightning. What? Why are you going that way? He wants to get to the rest of his team. Oh, and then oh, oh, oh dear. Oh, and the flash. Is. Lucian's a range champion. He doesn't need. <laughs> he can still auto you from that distance. Kill the nexus. And you do a ton of damage, yeah. All right. Um, any and then fifth item. Sojin or something. As Jiwoo going aggressive, tidal wave, gonna be following him, gets the knock up as Magnet Storm will answer here and everyone piles on top of Hannah, but he flashes, Empress Divide goes wide and now Clear is looking for this Counter-Strike but the team calls him off and he is gonna say, all right, you will live this time around. Willa now looking for his opportunity, Closer comes in, there's the Shockwave and Sylvie's in trouble, he's trying to crash his way out of it, they get on top of Hannah, but have they dealt with the problem? No, Clear has not taken uh, damage yet and look at them, they are getting pulverized, Dindon takes one, but maybe that was a mistake, they've reset the gold for Clear to pick up as he puts him in the ground as well, seven, one and two on this Jax. There's, oh dear. There's no other way to spin how that fight played. Just wanting to make sure he's got a bit of magic resist, Best of a bit of armor. 
feeling fantastic. If he goes back with like 200 gold, he'll be able to finish a uh, Frozen Heart because it's so cheap. And Jiwoo's, uh, he's going to Feather Storm and then he's oh dead. God, this uh, um, the W is dumb damage here with uh, just how fed he is. And Sylvie is also going to die. That's Henna picking up that kill. Fox, if you'd like to, you can go grab yourselves a Baron. You can also walk up the mid lane and possibly just win. Uh, there is just no end to the amount of control that they have. And I would probably just grab that POG form and just put yeah, your pick in the say, top lane it's, now. It's such an easy decision. Um, this is where you can tell if some of the voters didn't watch the game. Hey, there we go. So, in a turret. Uh, I don't think he gets this in time. He might get it if he full oh, sacrifices, no. and he will. Um, ooh, the turnaround was actually kind of cute. Tidal Wave going to come in. He avoids it. Um, we can see the minimap, so we can see the fact that Dundon is dead, even if he doesn't think he is just yet. Uh, he is just yet dead. Yeah, so I said he, I didn't think he'd get that. You can't really go that wrong with builds. Aiming should play Jax. <laughs> Crash down going to be used here by Sylvie to get himself out of here. And here comes clear. And uh, we're going to try this team fight once again. As Look at them. He was in amongst four people. Look, oh my goodness, he went down to half health. That's crazy, but he's got his onions. And Nongshim, they did manage to get a kill here. And now Clear's going to have to get out. Get them back away? Yeah, he does so. Oh. And Shockwave going to be used on a single target. And Fiesta able to get himself away from this one as well. But there's no cooldowns left remaining. In terms of dealing with the Jax, five is like... Oh, oh, oh That's dear. not five, that's three. Yeah, Leap Strike going to be used. Shattering Strike connects here. And can they actually kill him is the question. In comes Fiesta, throws him back forward. But he has the Counter-Strike back up and available once again. Henna trying to get these autos, oh, but there's the kill onto the Jax. They take down the Azir in response, but killing the Jax, I thought was going to be impossible for the entirety of this game. And we'll be able to do a fair bit of damage. Uh, and yeah, I love that. And it onto Fiesta. Who's oh. going to get shot? Oh, oh no, Jiwoo! He stepped in just the edge and is taken down. Oh, you can see, I, even though it's the champion doing the walking, I saw the guilt in the stride of the Shuriman Emperor as he was making his way out. Closer saw him as the target, and it's Jiwoo that pays the price. I feel like those situations where you're right on the edge are the worst, because if Jiwoo was firmly in the shockwave radius, he, would have, he probably would have ulted. Right, as well as clear, just looking for that moment, looking for that opportunity, the poke damage flying forward. Every time Closer throws this orb around, it is doing massive damage. As the first Nexus turret does go down, Clear is going to teleport back in. They find the knockup, but Willow is just going to split the fight. Now Clear dives in. He's got his Zonyas already prepared. A shockwave onto two. Both bottom laners taking so much from that one. Dundon trying to be the valiant hero here for Nongshim. And they are standing their ground. They are surviving at least. But their Nexus is getting torn apart, and in goes clear again. I just don't think this is going to be enough. There's the shuffle. They do manage to pick up Henna. But look at this, some free time with a Nexus, and down it goes. Firex will take game one. Yeah, and I feel like just the, the top gap, a little bit of a chunk, being a summoner, it's not the most impactful, but definitely a positive. Just Peter getting a good angle there with the Q from the Tom Kench. Oh, whoa, flashes everywhere as Colmy's getting welcomed to the Rift. Uh, in the worst way possible. He is really dead, and that is not the way that you wanted to see it go down. Execute is the one that picks up the kill, so that is suboptimal, but uh, sharing around a bunch of that. Stop, like, nah, I've seen this before. I am not interested. This is where the pause comes in. He's like, oh, I'll deal with it until level three, and then we out. Um, speaking of out, that's not Sylvie. He's in this bottom lane, and Execute and Henna are in trouble. There's a teleport to the bottom lane, oh. as close as, like, I want this one, and already Sylvie's dead. But at least they didn't give a kill to the Aurelia. Now, call me. Remember, doesn't have flash, and Will is just going to flash on top of him, and he's dead. Wow. Huh. Well, at least the Aurelia doesn't have a kill. True. <laughs> um, teams, and you go right. Well, this is the left side. This is the right side. We get the one bonus one in playoffs, but it's a realistic oh. outcome. Oh. Call me again in a little bit of trouble here as Close is diving in. Grand Entrance is going to miss, and there is the Abyssal dive. Sylvie coming on over, finds some decent damage, and Execute should be taken down here. Sylvie grabs that kill, and Closer is able to limp away. Nice play here from Nongshim. Good reactive work in down now. So that's certainly good, but now he's going to get stunned, and this could just be it. There's the ulti from Closer. 
Sylvie, he comes forward. That's a cute little flash as now Colmy's walking the wrong direction oh. and the W comes through. Harpoon lands onto Sylvie as well. But I think Closer might just be happy with this. So he'll be able to dash his way out, but this Aurelia is starting to become an issue. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, he looks rather good in this champion. He is get a solo kill, and you can see that coming yeah, out here. Ah, uh, very nice that we're getting the point of view. Yeah, lands the initial stun, goes for the ult, and then sees that the Viego is coming, flashes the stun again, and then gets the W and the auto to finish off. Oh, that's... That's very clean. The fact that he sees him charge. God. Oh man, there's an Ori on it. You know, Komi just had to recall and TP back in. He just got back to lane. Well, uh, they're going to look for another stun. They don't find it there. Sylvie dives in. Good knock up on the Tom Kench. Is now Willa. He finds an equalizer. And Peter, he is just burning down. Shockwave is used. It just doesn't really do anything. And now Close is looking for even more. The W is channeled. They do turn on him and he should be taken down as Jiwoo turns up to save the day. Nice play there, and giving the kill to Jiwu is massive because, as you can see, he's already have to do what you want in this lane. Yeah, if and you auto me, I will kill you. And all right, execute looks for the grand entrance, and he'll find it here. Jiwu is by himself, and execute tanks the turret, and one more hit, and Hannah locks it down. Beautifully played. The coordination between these two players, who have barely ever played together, uh, is starting to look better and better. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Willow is spotted. And now Closer could be in a bit of trouble. Shockwave does come down, but he was channeling the W. We'll see whether that keeps him alive. As there's the Equalizer Vanguard's Edge combination. Peter going down very, very low, and this time he will die. Sylvie tries to get the Heartbreaker for the Executor onto Closer. It doesn't work out. Wouldn't have done enough damage anyway. And Jiwoo is running up, throwing zaps left and right. The trigger, though, is now Dundun trying to get in a position for a Gnar. But that Gnar bar is dwindling. Excuse and Furex know that they can just fight. Execute still has ult on this flank. Like, you can see Call Me trying to zone him away, but if Execute gets in here, it could be massive. Yeah, Call Me does find a dissonance. Doesn't really do too much here to Execute, though, as the Rift Herald is going to be secured. And now Execute looks for it, goes for that engage. Closer, wanting to find the opportunity, doesn't get there, though. Vanguard's head just hits the wind, and now Clear is going to pay for their sins. Does try to get out, but it's not going to work. It's Sylvie that locks up the kill on the Cassante, and now Willa is running. Execute, can you actually stop this as, oh, that's a decent little attempt, but he may still die. Never mind, Blast Cones exist. Shout out to Valdez there, who probably feels fantastic about that one being used to break up the team. Don't go for the Herald, and they look for oh, a Colmy's good. dead. He's really big time dead. Um, big time dead. Not sure about that one, Atlas. Let's, uh, let's think about our words a little bit more in the future. But I'll have I some opportunities there. Accurately. Yeah. Was big time dead. Yeah, he, he was really dead. And Henna, really flashed. Ah, uh, Super Mega Death Rocket comes on forward as well, and that is going to be a pistol dive, picking up the kill there by Peter. So Nongshim answering back, nice, big number. But if they can actually deal with her, and that's, uh, well, Colmy is not really dealing with too much here, as Clear is just doing Cassante things. Um, find yep. you and back to the mini wave. Well, you remember I was talking about <laughs> the one thing yeah. one being an issue. Uh, you didn't specify Jiwoo is trying to take down this turret. Execute gonna block a Super Mega Death Rocket by accident. And Nongshim. On purpose. Yeah, they grab themselves this outer turret in the mid lane. There's a flash forward from Execute as Sylvie will get charmed, but there's the eat from Peter. Teleport to come in, and now Nongshim, a re engage possibility as well as Execute's the target. They will take him down. Beautifully played. Now Dundon on the flank angle. Not a lot of Narbar, but he's building it, building it, building it. And Hannah oh. just destroyed. All right, Nongshim. They just stand their ground and say, bring it, and Fox says, well, we'll try, but we won't be able to. Dungeon just styled on Henna. Henna had flash on ult and just didn't expect to be taken down there, and now five members. He closes, stealing away the Gromp there, and the Gnar has been sent to answer. Uh. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Uh, Sylvie's going to have to use the Heartbreaker. Uh, Quickness going to come down. There's the Equalizer. Sylvie should just be dead here. That's one Baron taken down. Jiwoo could be in trouble here as Henna. He's um, not exactly as durable as he wants to be executed in a similar boat as the Zap connects onto Willa, but now Closer has made his way in clear as well. This kiting from Jiwoo is working out nicely. Super Mega Death Rocket is optimistic. And Fox may have just bought them some valuables. Indeed. Um, does... He's very, very close to the uh, Frozen Heart as I hold my thought. There's a good engage onto Peter Equalizer as well as Jiwoo has to get out of the way of that one. There's the Feather Storm as Henna doesn't get hit by that Super Mega Death Rocket. And now it's Clear and Execute trying to be that front line. Clear also doing some work here, but closes out of the fight. But no! They expose Jiwoo! 
and it's clear that does come in. Still very low health bars, and Dundon, is he going to be the savior of this team? That's the question. Willa locks down one kill under Peter, but Dundon, he's finding it, he's doing it, and the wallop comes down. It's a triple for this Nar, and he might be the savior for Nongshim. What a redemption arc for Dundon after, honestly, a very poor game one. Game two, he is the driving force. Fearx Closer puts that teleport on cooldown. Doesn't really find too much joy for it. Yeah, the concept was fine, but very hard to find these engages when there's a Harm Kench there offering that, that safety net, and also they just saw it come and disengage the left side uh, of the mid lane. So, Closer still looking for a window. There's minions there now to dash to. Yeah. And execute. Oh dear, he just blows up. Not going to find the opportunity to get in there. Looks a little bit silly as he gets stunned immediately. Equalizer not also doing what it wants to do. And Closer keeping his health bar high, but clear not so lucky. Doesn't find the stun. And Firex just lose two members for free. Longstream just too many tools to disengage. And the Orianna, as I said, is doing so much damage now. Exec Freely throwing rockets at Firex, and there is nothing they can do about it. The range advantage. Just a little bit too high, especially given the state of the game. And now Henna going to get bounced on here by Dindin. The easiest feather storm of his life. And Execute going to pay for his sins here as he's trying to get himself out. Equalizer going to be used, and the Super Mega Death Rocket still not landing. But that is fine. Clear still finding these cues, but it just doesn't matter. They're just standing their ground. Shockwave does come in. All out now down as well here as Clear is trying to stay alive. The Devour going to be used onto Jiwoo as Fox closing in. They hadn't lost anyone for so long, but now these health bars are starting to melt. And now they will bring us to a game number three. Nongshim! They're back in it. They're back on the board. And the losing streak has all that one coming from a mile away. And honestly, I, I, I love it. It's... It's going to be difficult to execute. We've obviously seen like Zayas play it so well. Dun Dun isn't Zayas, but um, I think the big thing as well is that we typically see the Grey Health to eat as well because they know that Hen is there. He's flashing for it as now Will is going to come in. The flash comes through. There's a twisted advance. They still have the heal. Oh my goodness, the bait was extraordinary. The sapling not going to quite be enough. Shift the sands, get himself out of the way. Something happened in the top lane and now it's looking a bit even. But uh, in CS, not so much. This series is crazy, man. All right, there's a Shockwave. And Closer, he's down to one auto attack. And finally, we have a first blood. There we go. Sylvie locks it up. And it looked, it looked obvious. And I think if you just turned on the stream, you're like, Atlas, why didn't you know he was going to die? It's Dun Dun. He's going aggressive towards his top lane. Lands another knockup. The Infernal Chains connect, and he rebinds the soul. To go back one sig button, use it. That's what I. That's what I say. The Get your skills on cooldown. Yep. And then you can use it again sooner. Yeah. It's about the amount of times you use it per game, not about the effectiveness. That's called value. Yeah. There's a quickness and there's a knockup and that's a really dead azir. Whoa. That's the second one. And now Sylvie's already over here. Uh, execute. Able to get out. Uses the abyssal dive. And dun -dun. bigger difference and. Looks like they're going to try and find Claire here. If they kill him, they could just take a ton of plates for Dundun, and then the game might be done done. Yeah. Oh, I love that. That's that's great. Call me also. Moving up here. Clear knows what's going on. Dundun going to ult right past the Azir, but there's a Shockwave available. And Heartbreaker going to come through. Still, Clear able to get one back, so not exactly the cleanest. As Closer shows up just a little bit late here. You know, Heck yeah. Uh, Henna is going to press his Hail of Arrows, and that is going to get him out of there as now. Dindin getting ulted. Willa comes on in here and has the sapling. Nice little ulti, and he might even be able to get the kill. Oh my, my god, Dindin's a monster. Can Willa get out with his life? That's the question. They pressed every button, and it wasn't enough. Dindin just lacked. See whether that is going to be the case this time around as well. Let's check this out once again. Dindin, the man with the mechanics. Yeah. Where's the sweet spot? Where is it? Oh, it doesn't exist. Clear can't find it. I think he legit just hit every single Q. Uh, yeah, 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 whilst I'm avoiding good. every single Q. Yeah, I mean, really well played. Really well played. Be able to avoid the stun there as Peter taking so much damage. Nikolmi comes on over. There's the shockwave. Devour has come through. But can they actually survive is the question. Nature's Grasp comes down. Teleport coming in. The cavalry has been called. The Hail of Arrows not really going to find too oh, much. And now Dun Dun. Oh, he was going to press it. And he does. He manages to find closer here and isn't actually pushed entirely 
out of the way. Still has to flash because the rest of the team's coming over. And now, oh my god, the turn. He may have gone a little bit too far. Or oh, who has? Closer is still alive with sub 100 health and they'll transition into a dragon. Fear X. Yeah, they're named correctly. There is no fear here. Yeah, huge shutdown. Closer completely going ahead with the confidence to make the play happen. He wants it. Exchange is another chance of corruption going to go wide this time around as Jiwoo has to feather storm. And oh, they still want more. Peter's going to be there. Yeah, looking pretty on fun for the Zaya. If only they could have not picked Zaya. Yeah. I mean, it is, it's a battle of the I wish they didn't pick these uh, champions. Is Colmy coming on over. He's an example of a good thing to pick. Wow. Henna is just going to destroy Peter, though. And now the Abyssal Dive going to come in. Colmy just going to walk this one off as best he can. But some low health bar. I don't know. It's crazy. Anyway, Shelly coming out. And see whether she can finish off this out of turret in the mid lane. Should be able to do so. Jiwoo taking Uh that's uh, uh huh. Ah, the, Where are the, you going, The friend? good old fashioned redirect. Um, Sylvie parks it into the wall. Right, well that that's definitely a fail. That's a lucid. We call that a lucid. Yeah. That you're uh, not passing nowadays. the driving test with one of those. Upset. As now close are going aggressive on the Dundon. Sylvie finds a stun, but not too much really going to happen afterwards. Chains of Corruption, and Peter has been still for a really long time. This Drake should have been earned here by Fear X. And Peter dives in. What? Run! What the heck? How do you see? He's got Guardian. There's no unsealed spellbook in this game. Okay, Peter, uh, I'll take your POG, and, uh, and we'll move on. That was gorgeous. They still did in with Zeke's. Was it the Zeke's that actually got it? That's what we're wondering. Okay, close okay. up. Gotta focus in. So he gets hit by CC, and then yeah. CC, and then Chains yeah. of Corruption, and then he's out. out. And then. And then I think it's like here, he like ease to call me ult. Yeah. It's just Zeke's. I'm pretty sure Zeke's, because it went to 28 health and Zeke's does 50 damage. I think Zeke's just got it. He just Zeke'd it. Yeah. And then Dundon gets in, Zeke gets a bit of CC. And he and get, yeah, he's like, I don't know, man. On three at this point, and as a Hextech Soul, I would start to really be concerned about Nongshim's chances, especially with Va- Oh no. I'm starting to be concerned about Willa here, who's gonna have to flash, tries to get himself out of the way. Dundun's in there, finds the fate sealed, and that might just be that, but Closer's able to lock down a kill, and that is so much damage. Willa, Willa survived for almost too long there, as Sylvie going aggressive, Closer down very, oh. very low, and clear! The damage is just too much! He'll pick up a double, and Sylvie will slink away tail between his legs. And we thought it was the Dindin show, and then Clear just turns up with a billion damage. He's unchecked and destroys them. This keeps happening where, like, a team forgets the A-frit. It'll just really, so here, I mean, the Maokai, unfortunately, not a great target because he is so tanky. The Shockwave flashed away from, and Dindin has to commit so much damage. The Shuffle actually comes in as well for the Azir. Dindin ends up going down, I believe, to, like, the Grom. <laughs> the Grom. <laughs> right. <laughs> he aggroed the Grom. Oh my. Okay, I didn't even focus on the rest that of the was team the, fight. It was, was, it was beautifully most, played by Clear, but. That was the most Dundun way to do it. down as Willa clearing out vision. Peter will be able to use his body to find some, some extra, but Nature's Grasp to come down. Willa looking for. A turn if they can find it. Closer goes golden though. Dundun uses his ult as well. That is the most high value Zonyas I have ever seen in my life. That was just absurd. And Clear gets on over. Umbral dash as well eats an ult. Nongshim threw everything in the... The dragon. No, but what about in the Nexus turrets though? Okay, this seems like a gamble. But they are ahead. They are in a good spot, so it should pay off. Ooh, they waited for the Chains of Corruption cooldown. They'll get a cleanse for it. And Nature's Grasp going to be used. The first Nexus turret is going low as Peter dives in and gets on top of a Maokai. Oh no! Emperor's Divide swipes them all up. And now Jiwoo and Dundun are the last men standing. And they may not be standing for much longer. Yeah, the dragon doesn't matter if you just kill the Nexus. As what Closer is almost just murdered by Execute. Oh, the redemption for Azir is massive. Dundon, unfortunately, unable to win his game on the...
These were some of the best highlights from today's LCK 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.